Good morning, my name is Mindy Doherty. I wanted to come to you and talk to you about probably an uncomfortable topic for most actually, and that would be child abuse, which what happens is even when you have dealt with some of the issues through therapy, as an adult, there's so many questions that underlie what happens to us. And we end up picking people that both mirror us and can help us grow if we look at that as an opportunity. So each of our friends that we pick, each of our enemies that we choose in our lives, I mean, we end up choosing them somehow, sometimes, uh, which is the universal philosophy of bringing people into our lives so that we can grow. So if I had that mentality unconsciously, then I would have to take whatever I needed to, to unblock those situations. So thereby lack, when I grew up, I was really, really poor. Um, my dad didn't pay child support. He was rich and decided that he wanted to play and do other things. So in that opportunity, as I grew up, I had realized when I was younger, basically, uh, my mom wanted to put me in modeling and do all these pageants. And mostly she did that because she wanted to make sure I was going to go to college. And so I didn't always really want to do modeling and acting, to be honest with you. I wanted to play and get in the mud and get dirty. And when my mom would put me in dresses, I would take them off and go on the swing. And so... You know, a livelihood of being pushed into something that you didn't want to do. I think I realized as an adult, maybe unconsciously, I pick relationships where the man is completely unavailable. Meaning that he's emotionally unavailable, physically unavailable, um, sexually unavailable. Um, and unconsciously, I must make that okay. Like, maybe in my lifehood, since my dad wasn't there, at some point in my adulthood, it progressed into, not that like I'm not good enough, but maybe it developed into an unconscious belief that I didn't deserve somebody to be around all the time, which is absolutely not true. Just got to figure out what in our childhood makes us the way that we are today, because there are things in our childhood that get brought up as an adult, like anger and frustration and, um, the way that we respond with people. I've been noticing uh, a difference as well when you have injuries, like I have a brain injury. So we need to stop dealing with psychological issues with neuro, or we need to stop dealing with neurological issues with psych answers and vice versa. You know, you wouldn't go to a dentist when you have a heart issue. So I think the medical system has kind of got it backwards a little bit. Um, and maybe we need to readjust some things since things have changed. Um, at first, when they were dealing with neurological issues, they would basically give you a pill for psychology. You know, oh, you're sad, you need this. Oh, you're happy, you know, you need this. Oh, you're impulsive, you need this. So every drug is end up is ending up being, you know, a Band-Aid for something. And then you get side effects from that. So you get other medications that are piled onto that. And other medications that stockpile that. Oh, I got nausea now, so I got to take another drug for the nausea. Oh, I'm vomiting now. I got to take another one for this. Oh, I'm constipated. I got to take another drug for this. So it ends up being a wraparound. And that's how I end up think that I was on 37 different medications plus. I was on a ton of different medications. And now that I've been able to do more therapy and do neurofeedback with my brain, the reason why neurofeedback for me is so important is it's rewiring the brain. It's making it so that I can hear people and understand where they're coming from versus having a perspective of they're attacking me. Um, and it's getting better. I think it's just going to take time. So that's my journey. I was asked to do a couple minutes of talking every day and record it and share it. So that's where I'm at. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye, guys.